do the worst, you know, beautiful and unique appetizers and salad plates for desserts and for dinner. And we're going to find out uh, how to make them, and it will become a great addition to your table. So let's go, Candace. Okay, first of all, I want to show you we use several different size plates. This is a large platter. I got it at Pier 1, $19 in Neiman Marcus. They, oh, no, well, well, anyway, they sell them for up to $200. Yeah. Uh, then, and we use, I use a cake plate as well. See that? And this is a, this is a standard size charger that we use. They are beautiful for the holiday or just put cookies or candies or something on it. Put them cellophane. It's a great gift and it didn't take very long to make. So let's get started. First of all, what you need for this project is you need some quick dry synthetic sides. It's like a glue. It's like a Mod Podge glue with your clear glass plate. You're going to use both of those together. You're then going to need, um, and I recommend, one book of silver leaf paper and one gold leaf paper. As you can see, this paper thin. This is another kind that's on the market. This will not work for this project, so don't, uh, and it says leafing on it, on the outside of the package, but go for the ones that have this paper thin. It comes in cheap, so that's, you'll need that as well. Uh, you're going to need quick dry sealant. You're going to need, I use sable brushes. They clean well. You can use them over and over. It's worth the investment. It's number 10 size if you want to know the exact size. A razor blade, I think I went out of order, sorry guys. Razor blade, and then I use sponge, br sponge brushes as well. What's this, Candace? This is the same thing. It's, it's quick dry synthetic size. It's like a glue. Okay. So I'm going to pour some in here. Do you uh, need more? No, I think oh, that's good okay. enough. Um, the first thing you do is you're going to put a thin coat. And you can use your sable brush or you can use, well, can I have another sponge brush? No, the other one. There you go. Yep. Okay. And we're going to just put a very thin coat on there. Uh, you'll see different instructions for this. It really only takes about 30 minutes, maybe 45 if you're in very cold, if your house is really cold, and you just put a very thin layer on like that. It'll look milky. So this is what it's going to look like. Can you get a picture of that? When it dries in 30 to 45 minutes, it's going to be clear like this. Now you can see I've already put some silver on there. And the way you do that is you take your paper out and you do it in one inch to two inch sizes and you just simply put it down like that and it'll stick. You pat it down with your finger. Uh, I know some of you that are uh, expert leafers out there, you use um, um, uh, the end of pencils and um, what are those called? Mm -hmm. Eraser. You use erasers and things like that. But I find that your the finger works just as well. You just want to make sure your finger is very, very dry and clean when you use this paper. Okay. The next step right away is you put the gold on there. So you'll take your gold leafing and you'll obviously do bigger pieces of that. You may have to wash your hands in between and you place it down and pat. See that? Very quick. Okay, now I'm going to lift this up and you're going to get a kind of a rough idea what it looks like. Let me just show you real quick. See that? Oh, look at the di look right into here. That's very Isn't nice. Isn't that pretty? Very nice. Now you're going to have cracks and what I recommend and, and is that you, when you're finished with that, <coughs> Put a thin layer of glue over this before it dries, and then fix as many cracks as you can. You're going to always be fixing cracks until it's finished, and and then let it dry. Let it dry for two days. Then then it'll look like this. Okay? Can you guys shut that? The way to to, to burnish it is called burnishing. Is it? I you can either use your sable brush, which works very nicely, like if you have uh, intricate places to work with. And then it'll also, or you can use, that's great, thank you, or you can use a, a dry, clean sponge brush and go like this and get all the extras off. Last but not least, when you see your cracks, you can do this pretty quick too. When you see, if you see cracks, like there's a hole in this one, yeah. okay, you just do the process over it. This is where you use your fine okay. little brush Well, you're doing like a little this. crop, we're going to go to commercial and okay. I'll make sure you have finished products, okay. When they do this, you're going to use your small sable brush. You can see one right here. Can you see that? Let you. Let you. So Thank little, you. Let me give you a bigger plate. That'll be easier for you to see. Right there. You go like that. Can you see that? I did it right there. And you're going to take some gold leafing and you're just going to patch it and it'll patch right up and dry. Last but not least, you're going to spray it with a sealant. Please do this outside. It almost killed Christina in the makeup. It's so 